A Southington High School teacher had to be removed from a classroom because of what's being called unprofessional behavior. It happened during school hours yesterday. News 8 has learned that, that teacher may have been intoxicated in the classroom. News 8's AJ Walker spoke to parents today. She joins us live tonight from News 8 Control with more. AJ? Keith and Ann, I got a lot of information today from an insider at the school and also from parents, but school officials are really being hush-hush about all of this, and that's upsetting parents because they say they deserve to know what the school knows regarding the incident in this allegedly drunken teacher. It was the kids in the schools that knew more, which I received a text that said a teacher was drunk and he actually wet himself. Parents say they learned of the Southington High School Spanish teacher's erratic and allegedly drunken behavior by word of mouth. Senior Chase Ugaida says the school was being very protective of information surrounding the incident, but adds one teacher did give some details. They just said he was acting very erratic and it was an uncomfortable situation for the students and she said that he was drunk, which is unfortunate. The principal sent out a letter to parents basically saying the teacher, quote, behaved in an unprofessional manner and was removed immediately from the classroom. School officials add they're conducting a full investigation. Parents say they should be given every detail about the teacher and his actions. If a teacher is being escorted out of the school and my child is in that, that either classroom or school, I definitely want to know what you know, it's disturbing because you don't know what the, what the teacher did. You don't know if the teacher could harm the kids. Also upsetting parents is that according to Southington police, they were never called about the incident. It doesn't seem like they're being protected when the police aren't being called for something like that. They should have called the police. The police should have come. They should have arrested him. Your guide says he'll feel safer if the school looks into this teacher's background as part of their investigation. For someone to come into a school and act the way he did, if that's new behavior or if he has a history with that, they should look into that more. And Keith and Ann, the assistant superintendent of schools would not tell me what they intend to do with this teacher from this point on. She would only say that they are investigating. For now, live in News 8 Control, A.J. Walker.